kids! I am so glad that you are watching today because I want to tell you a story about something that happened to Jesus right before he went to the cross. It is a really cool story. But first, I want you to stand up because we are going to sing some songs to God and worship together. Okay, kids, so you remember last week we talked about Jesus having his very last supper with his friends, and he knew that something bad was about to happen, and he even told his friends that. Well, I'm getting ready to tell you the start of that bad thing, and this is a long story, and there's a lot of things that happen, so I want you to really listen and pay close attention. Okay, so 
Jesus and his friends, remember they had just had their supper, he had washed their feet, he ate bread with them. He takes his friends and he says, let's go to this garden. It's called the Garden of Gethsemane. Gethsemane. Money. Money. It's money. So Jesus and his friends, they go, they leave their supper, and they go somewhere called the Garden of Gethsemane. And Jesus takes his friends there and he says, will you stand here and watch out because I need to go pray. I need to go talk to my Father God. So you keep a lookout while I go pray. And so Jesus, he goes and he prays and he calls out to God. And then he comes back and his friends are asleep. They fell asleep right there in the garden while they were supposed to be keeping a lookout. So Jesus said, please wake up, please just stay awake for one more hour, keep a lookout, I need to pray. And then he goes off to himself again and he prays to God and he says, God, this hard, hard thing that I know that I'm about to have to do, I know that you have this big plan and it's gonna require me to do something so bad that I do not wanna do it. If there's any other way, please make it happen. But Jesus, he was so worried, he was sweating so much, and he was crying and praying so hard, but he knew at the end that God needed him to do this. He knew that it was the plan, and he knew that he was going to have to do something hard, even if he didn't want to in that moment, even if he was a little bit anxious about it. So he goes back to his friends, and guess what? They're asleep again. They fell asleep again, even after Jesus asked them to stay awake. And so he has to wake them back up and he says, guys, it's happening. I'm about to be betrayed. Something bad is about to happen and one of our friends has done something wrong to me. And just as he's saying that, Jesus turns around and his friends turn around and Judas, one of Jesus' friends named Judas, is coming toward him with a whole bunch of soldiers behind him. So it's Judas and a bunch of soldiers and they're marching right toward Jesus. And Judas, he had told the soldiers, he said, you'll know which one is Jesus because I'll give him a kiss on the cheek. So Judas walks up and he goes up to Jesus and he kisses him on the cheek. And the soldiers say, okay, that's the guy. And they arrest Jesus. So they pull out their swords and they're going to arrest Jesus and to capture him. One of Jesus' friends, his name was Peter. Peter got so upset. He said, no, you cannot arrest my Jesus. I love Jesus too much. You're not gonna arrest him. And Peter pulls out a sword and he cuts off one of the soldier's ears, his whole ear. He cut the whole ear right off the soldier. And Jesus said, wait, wait, wait. Everybody calm down. He said, Peter, I know you're doing this because you love me, but this bad thing has to happen. It's all in God's plan for this to happen. And he actually reached over and he fixed the soldier's ear right there. He fixed the ear and he said, it's okay, arrest me. This is meant to happen. So the soldiers and Judas, they take Jesus and they they bring him before the high priest and they say, we want you to arrest this guy. Well, they didn't really have a good reason to arrest Jesus. They were just angry, but Jesus hadn't done anything wrong. So they tried to think of a way that they could arrest Jesus. And they said, I know. Sir, are you trying to tell us that you are God's son or that you're the Messiah? And Jesus said, well, yeah, I am. That's true. And they said, we knew it. You're pretending to be God and that is wrong. So we are going to arrest you. So they arrested Jesus and they took him off because they were going to kill him. So this scary, terrible, bad thing happened and Jesus goes off. And you remember the friend I told you about Peter who cut off the ear? Peter stays back and he's so worried about Jesus, but he's also kind of scared because this big scary thing just happened and his friend got arrested. And this girl comes up to Peter and she said, hey, I know who you are. You're one of Jesus' friends, aren't you? And you know what Peter said? He said, no, no I'm not. She said, yes, you are. And some other people joined in. They said, yes, you are. You're Jesus' friend. We saw you with him. Peter said, no, I'm not. I don't know that man. I've never seen that man before. And he pretended like he didn't even know Jesus because he was so afraid of all the scary things that were happening. So guys, we're going to end this story today on a really sad note. It was so sad to see Jesus taken away and arrested. And Peter just denied that he was even his friend. It was a very, very sad night. And it was only going to get worse the next day when Jesus died on the cross. But I want you to remember that we know the end of the story. And even though that night was so terrible and so bad, we know that Jesus ended up coming back to life to save us. So Jesus knew that too. 
because he was God's son. He knew everything. So even though he knew that he was going to have to do this terrible, no good, really hard, painful thing, he knew in the end it was going to be worth it because he was doing it to save us from our sins. And he loved us so much that he did something even though it was hard. Are you guys ready for our memory verse? This is from Ephesians 1, 9, and it says, God has now revealed to us His mysterious will regarding Christ, which is to fulfill His own good plan. Ephesians 1, 9. Now, say it with me. God has now revealed to us His mysterious will regarding Christ, which is to fulfill His own good plan. Ephesians 1, 9. Great job, kids. Now keep saying it until you have it memorized. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. You've watched, you've listened, and you've learned. So go change your world. <laughs>